Tonight we're gonna work on hamstrings and biceps with a little bit of calves. And uh, we're not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna hurry up and get it in. All right, so meet me on over to the next set. All right, so we're working sumo goblet squats to target the hamstrings and the glutes. As you can see, I have a really wide base. I'm going down, keeping my spine in a neutral position. Head is not looking up, it's not looking down. It's facing forward. And what's making me rise is all the hamstring and glutes contracting each. I'm not, sometimes, when you get into working the legs, if you pay attention, you'll notice that you're lifting with like your back, right? You don't wanna do that. You're working your legs, you want the legs to do the work. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So that's what we do. Make sure the legs are what's working. And we finish with one set, we go straight into the other. Now, since we were doing the sumo goblet, I'm gonna maintain my feet, my toes pointed out. And as I go up and contract the calves, what I'm targeting is the gastrocnemius as well as the soleus muscles of the calf, which are the outside outside portion of the calf muscle itself. Just knock those out. Now normally, I would like to keep my toes elevated on something so I can get a full contraction and a full stretch, but we have to make do with what we have and there's nothing that I can put my feet on. So I'm just knocking these out because a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. All right, me to me right into the next exercise. We're gonna do close grip chin-ups. Close grip chin-ups. Finish the, the chin ups right into cable rear, de rear deadlifts, cable RDLs. And I recommend that you make absolutely no eye contact with anyone when you're doing this. It's the contraction of the hamstring and the glutes driving all the movement, releasing the contraction, contracting the muscle, releasing the contraction, contracting the muscle. That is what's making me go up and down. Here we're going to do single leg hip thrusters. Single leg dumbbell hip thrusters. So as you can see, I'm putting 
the dumbbell right up on my hip bone right here. I'm gonna rest it right there. As I come down, maintain it. I'm going to elevate the leg I'm not targeting. Support the weight with my other arm and thrust up. Maybe another one you don't want to make eye contact with, but it's not as bad as the cable hit thrust. <laughs> Enjoy. Meet me at the next exercise. After I completed my first set of the single leg hip thrusters, I'm going straight into supersetting with standing bicep curls. You notice I'm curling the weight out. <sighs> That's gonna get, there are two heads to the bicep. <sighs> Forget the name of it, but it's the one closest to your rib cage. When you're laying uh, your arms to your side. And this concludes tonight's workout. Remember, I don't have everything a fancy gym offers. I got this little bit of space with a little bit of equipment. But a little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing. So get the work in while you can, as you can. Any work is better than nothing. By the way, these hip thrusters, phenomenal. For core, for for hammies, for, for, for glute strength. And that's why the thrust game is strong, baby. Your wife will thank you later. See ya.